like many cancers in children, uh, we don't have good tools or any tools to screen for AML. Um, and children who present with AML, children who are diagnosed with AML, are often diagnosed when they uh, have symptoms that uh, can be quite severe, symptoms like anemia or fatigue or fevers or even infections. Um, bleeding uh, is common. And all of these symptoms share in, in common the fact that they're the result of the uh, leukemia um, infiltrating the bone marrow and crowding out the normal cells. So the body's not able to, to synthesize or create uh, normal blood cells. Those normal blood cells are replaced by the leukemia cells that don't do much um, in terms of um, creating normal blood cells. And, um, and as a result, uh, patients will present with signs of uh, low um, uh, uh, white blood cell count or even very high blood, white blood cell count. Um, and those symptoms can often lead to um, risk for infections, to fevers, to um, uh, signs and symptoms of just not feeling well. Uh, the leukemia cells can crowd out the cells that create our red blood cells as well. And um, leading to signs and symptoms of anemia. So uh, fatigue, uh, pallor or, or pale skin, um, headaches, uh, fast heart rate. And then lastly, um, the, the, the other cells that can be affected are called platelets. These are the tiny cells in our blood that help our blood to clot. Um, and when low, patients can present with uh, bleeding and bruising. So um, bleeding in their mouth or nose, uh, bruising, uh, even with with mild trauma or or unexpected bruising, and um, uh, often kids can present with a rash called petechiae, which are little tiny red dots uh, that are a sign that um, small blood vessels are are bleeding in the skin.